Subhuti Pali, Subhuti, Chinese, Zuputi Pinyin, Zuputi was one of the ten great sravakas of Gautama Buddha, and foremost in giving gifts. In Prakrit and Pali, his name literally means, "...good existence", Su, "...good", Bhuti, "...existence". He is also sometimes referred to as, "...elder Subhuti". Subhuti Thera. He was a contemporary of such famous arahants as Sariputra, Mahakasyapa, Maudgalyayana, Mahakachyana, and Ananda. In Theravada Buddhism In Theravada Buddhism, Subhuti is famed as the monk who was most worthy of gifts due to his practice of absorption on loving-kindness before receiving alms food. He was the son of Sumanazeti and the younger brother of Anathapandika. On the day of the dedication of Jetavana, he heard the Buddha teach and left the world. After ordination he mastered the two categories of Vinaya rules, and, after obtaining a subject for meditation, lived in the forest. There he developed insight, and attained arahantship on the basis of metta jhana. Teaching the Dhamma without distinction or limitation, he was declared chief of those who lived remote and in peace and of those who were worthy of gifts a. I. Cf. Ud. V. where the Buddha commends his proficiency in meditation. It is said that when he went begging for alms he would develop metta jhana at each door, hence every gift made to him was of the highest merit. In the course of his travels he came to Rajagaha, and Bimbisara promised to build him a dwelling place. However, the king forgot his promise, and Subhuti meditated in the open air. There was no rain, and, discovering the cause, the king had a leaf hut built for him. As soon as Subhuti entered the hut and seated himself cross-legged on the bed of hay, rain began to fall. In Mahayana Buddhism Among the Mahayana traditions, Subhuti is perhaps best known as the disciple with whom the Buddha speaks when imparting the Diamond Sutra Sanskrit, Vajracadika Prajnaparamita Sutra, Chinese, Jingangjing or Jingang Banruojing, an important teaching within the Prajnaparamita genre. This, along with the Heart Sutra Sanskrit, Prajnaparamita Daya, Chinese, Sinjing or Banruo Sinjing, is one of the most well-known sutras among both practitioners and non-practitioners of Buddhism. Subhuti is also responsible for much of the exposition in earlier Prajnaparamita sutras. In the Lotus Sutra, Sanskrit, Sadama Pundarika Sutra, Chinese, Fahua Hua Jing or Miaofalian Hua, Hua Jing Chapter 6, Bestowal of Prophecy, the Buddha bestows prophecies of enlightenment on Subhuti, along with other sravakas such as Mahakasyapa, Mahakachyana, and Mahamaudgalyayana. In Zen writings In Zen Buddhism, Subhuti appears in several koans, such as this one. One day, in a mood of sublime emptiness, Subhuti was resting underneath a tree when flowers began to fall about him. We are praising you for your discourse on emptiness. The gods whispered to Subhuti. But I have not spoken of emptiness," replied Subhuti. You have not spoken of emptiness, we have not heard emptiness," responded the gods. This is the true emptiness. The blossoms showered upon Subhuti as rain. <laughs> Lineage of the Panchen Lamas In the lineage of the Panchen Lamas of Tibet there were considered to be four Indian 
and three Tibetan incarnations of Amitabha Buddha before Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, who is recognized as the first Panchen Lama. The lineage starts with Subhuti. In Chinese literature A character based on Subhuti appears in the Chinese classical novel Journey to the West, as the teacher of the monkey king Sun Wukong. The story of Sun Wukong first meeting Subhuti was a play on the Zen story of Huaneng meeting Hongren, as told in the Platform Sutra of Zen Buddhism. Because of the role that Subhuti plays in the story, his name has remained familiar in Chinese culture. Footnotes <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>